Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. I have somebody at my feet that wants to say hi. My little grand dog is here with me today. And today we're going to be making a glazed yeast donut from scratch. I've never done it before, but we're going to try it. I'm going to put the dough into my bread machine to do the dough cycle and then I'm going to roll them out and cut them and let them rise and fry them and then we're going to put a glaze on them so hope you stay around <laughs> so hope you stay around to see the process and if you're new here oh my goodness and if you're new here my name is Debbie and I would love to have you on my channel, so hit that red subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and hit the bell icon so you're notified of every video I upload. So let's get into the glazed donut recipe. Goodness. Okay, let's get our ingredients in for the glazed yeast donuts. To our pan, the first ingredient we're going to add is one half cup of milk and a quarter cup of water. I have those both mixed in there. Then we're going to be adding one fourth cup of vegetable oil. One large egg. A fourth a cup of sugar. One teaspoon of salt. Then th and three cups of bread flour. We're going to make us a little hole and put in two and a fourth teaspoons of yeast. Then pop it into our bread maker. Choose the dough cycle. and begin. After that's done, we're going to come back, roll it out, and cut us some donuts with our little two and a half inch donut cutter. Get them off of Amazon. Okay, it just went off, and we're going to dump this dough out and cut us out some. I'm going to put a little bit of bread flour on there. Hang on. I'm just going to put it on real fast because got somewhere to go after this. And don't want to be a floured mess, do we? So we're going to dump this out. Oh, the dough looks really nice. Get that paddle out of there. Punch it down, get the air out of it. I'm going to divide it into two. And then we're going to roll it out. Okay, this is the first time I've ever made these, so we're going to see what we get. <laughs> we're going to cross our fingers. Some, I usually have good luck if I follow the directions. These don't seem very thick. Well, this cutter isn't really good. That looks like a teeny tiny donut. This is not the best donut cutter that I got off Amazon. I would not probably recommend it because it doesn't want to cut. 
where we're going to go with it. Because on my channel, I try to show you exactly how it's turning out. Sometimes, sometimes recipes fail. I'm not going to say this is going to be a fail. A little better. And we're going to save a few of these little donut holes to put in there. I didn't really want to mess with them too much, but we'll put a few in there. There's what we have. Some are thicker than others. Some are deformed. Some are round. But that's what we have. So we're going to let these rise about 30 minutes, and then we're going to deep fry them. And put some delicious glaze on them. I have my oil heating up, and it's just about to 400. And that is where it needs to be. I just took the donuts out, and there's the timer saying they were rose enough. So here are the donuts. And we're going to take two tablespoons of boiling water and add it to a cup of powdered sugar. This is going to be our glaze. A little bit of vanilla. And we're going to stir that. And that's going to be our glaze because we are going to want to put the glaze on the donuts while they are still warm. It's a very runny glaze. That's what you want. I think we're ready. Gonna place in a couple donuts. Let me see if you can see what I'm doing. Make sure you can see the process, okay? We're gonna let them brown just a little bit on that side. Flip them over. First time doing this, like I said, so dip them out, place them on a paper towel to drain. I'm going to put two more in there. We're not going to leave these quite as long and see what we get. I kind of want to try mine golden brown. Let's try that. Don't want them doughy inside either, though. Lay them on the paper towel. Move you a little bit over. I'm going to dip them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dip them. And I'm going to let them run off. Put it on there, dip and flip. Oh yeah, that one's better. Dip and flip. Dip and flip. Now I'm gonna let these cool and I'm gonna give them a taste test. Because I need to know if they're done, if I need to bake them long or fry them longer. I need to make sure I'm getting them done before I continue on with the rest. But they're looking like glazed donuts, aren't they? Cute. 
Oh my goodness. I just had one and they're done inside. These were the ones I didn't cook as long. So I know the other ones are done. Delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. We're going to continue on. Frying. Get our donuts in. Flip when a golden. Take out. Continue on. Some of them, like I said, are a little bit odd shaped, but they're going to be delicious. I know they are. Let's do some little balls. Donut holes. I bet those don't take long at all. The secret probably definitely is having your grease the right temperature. Dip and flip. And let drip. All rhyming. Dip and flip and let drip. Dip. Flip. And let drip. Okay, I've got them all fried. So we're going to continue on with the glazing process. I remember a story of Krispy Kreme when my boys was young, and I mean really young, like 10, 11, and 7, something like that. Uh, we went on a trip to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And we took our food, you know, to try to save on money and, you know, have breakfast and at least lunch, like lunch meat and stuff. So we could just eat one meal out a day because it was pretty expensive back then for a family of five. So the boys was like, I'm tired of eating cereal every morning. And I was like, oh, well, here's the donut shop. We'll just stop and get some donuts. And it was Krispy Kreme. Never had had a Krispy Kreme donut. Didn't know anything about them. And big long line. And you know, when you go on vacations, you're used to waiting in big long lines. You just, everything is a big long line. You really don't know why, but it is. And when we got up to the counter, well, I got up to the counter, the gentleman said, uh, do you want hot? And I had never had a hot donut. And I said, what do you mean hot? And he's like, hot glaze. And again, I'm like, I don't really know what hot glaze means. And the gentleman behind me stepped up and said over my shoulder, you want hot glaze? Tell them yes. And I said, okay. So I was like, yes, I'll take hot glaze. And so we got hot glaze. And, and while we were standing in line and they were preparing my dozen with hot glaze, the gentleman behind me said, Anytime the light is on outside that says hot, you want to stop and get some donuts. And I'm like, oh, he said, that means they're, they're doing the hot glaze. And I said, okay. So I get back out to the car. I tell my kids and my husband the story. And we look up and we see the sign and it's got the hot light on. And so I'm like, let's taste them while we're just sitting here. And boy, we just thought that was the best thing in the whole world that we'd ever tasted. And uh, I'll just never forget that. So that's where we learned about Krispy Kreme and the hot. So there they are all done. And they don't all look the same. Some are a little darker. So like I said, my first time ever making them. But from what this one tasted like earlier when I tasted it, I have nothing bad to say about it. <laughs> so, hope you try this recipe. Let me know how yours turns out. 
And please leave me a comment down in the comment section. I love hearing from you. And until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Bye. Mmm, delicious.